My mother never had sex with anyone else except my father. A week before her three-day leave to get married, my mother was examined by the army doctor and pronounced Virgo intacta. 24 years old and Virgo intacta. An unusual thing in the ATS, an unusual thing in wartime, if you believe even half of what you read in the social history books. And the joke was, I wasn't even sure your dad was going to make it. Rumour was they were going to cancel all leave prior to D-Day. So it was touch and go to the last minute. The sex my mother could have had but didn't <laughs> sounded fantastic. <laughs> Clever Jewish boys from the east end of London whirled her around the dance floors, niftily slow foxtrotting her into corners, telling her the khaki matched her eyes. <laughs> A soldier in a darkened carriage in a slow train wept on her shoulder when he told her that he'd lost his brother in North Africa. Two naval ratings on Margate Pier slipped a string of cultured pearls in her pocket, said, Miss, we just found these on the beach, and you are so pretty, we thought you ought to have them. She had a very close and very tender friendship with a lovely, lovely, gentle NCO from the north of England who told her she was the image of his girlfriend. <laughs> An Italian prisoner of war sketched her portrait and her sister, who had her eye on him, was quite put out. She didn't care for Yanks, but that didn't stop them trying. A free Frenchman fell in love with her. A Polish Air Forceman proposed. Any Scotsman she met down there had lovely educated accents and tended to be top brass. She mixed with folk from all over, which was the beauty of the services and the best of the party that was wartime, while the buzz bombs overhead didn't quite cut out. She was quite capable of downing a half of bitter and rolling out the barrel with all the other girls without ending up squiffy up against the wall afterwards with her knickers down, unlike some. When they all rolled back to barracks late, swinging their lyle-stocking legs from the tailgate of a lorry singing apple blossom time, Military policemen turned a blind eye in exchange for nothing more than a smile. Officers messed around with her in the blackout, but then my mother told them she was engaged to be married to my father, and they acted like the officers and gentlemen they were and backed off sharpish. So, my mother never had sex with anyone else except my father, which was a source of pride to her, being of her generation, as it would have been a source of shame to me, being of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and 